Hi guys! Welcome to Wanderfish. Our channel is all about RV living full-time and how we make it work for us. I'm Valerie, Matt's the cameraman, Penny is our tow vehicle, and Ernie is our RV, which we live in full-time. Specifically, the one fact about our camper that is different than a lot of other people that are full-time. A lot of people that are full-time are in a big rig or are in a 40-foot fifth wheel. We live in a, I think it's 20 feet long bumper pool, 22 feet, mm -hmm. something like that. And that's on the outside. On the inside, you're talking about 18, Eight, 18 feet, feet from the front of the camper to the rear. And seven feet. And seven feet wide, specifically 126 square feet of living space, which we live in full time. So today's video we're making um, for you is about how we make that work for us because it's the number one question we get asked is how in the world do you make that work? To give you an idea of what 126 square feet is like, I am pretty sure our master bedroom, how big was our master bedroom in the apartment? About 300. Yeah. So we are living in our Bedroom, kitchen, dining room, living room, bathroom, everything is less than the amount of space that we used to have for our master bedroom. So that's how small this is. And I know there are people that do this full time that are even smaller than this. So kudos to them because I just don't know how they do it. So I'm going to show you, we're going to do a tour of the camper and we're going to give you um, an idea of how we do it. First of all, we'll start with our lovely, luxurious kitchen. Um, you can see we just have so much counter space. Isn't this awesome? So this does come in handy. Um, we really don't use it that much. I think we use this more like to put sometimes the fan um, in the summertime. We like to have air circulating, so we'll put a fan here. Um, maybe if we have a lot of dishes, um, we'll put the dirty dishes here. And that way we have our two sinks. We have the one for the washing and then the one for the uh, uh, rinsing. Um, but when we're doing food prep, we really, we might lay stuff on here, but we don't really do food prep on here. Well, because of our incident. Oh yeah, we did have an incident with this. <laughs> but that was early on. And right. I like to think that we grow and learn. I think we're we still gun shy. <laughs> <laughs> when we first got the RV, the, this was where the coffee maker lived. And one morning, I lifted this up and I put it on here, but I forgot to lock it completely in place. And the whole thing came down with the coffee pot. The carafe full of coffee fell and of course broke and we were instantly flooded with a coffee pot full of coffee. So now this thing, you don't have to worry about this. If you remember to lock it in place, you, we can put the crock pot on here easily, but we're still a little gun shy because you know you live and learn and we're traumatized and we're trying to get over that so um back to the kitchen area one of the things that i did um we cook a lot and we use a lot of spices so this was just uh this didn't have anything on it this is something that i came up with we went to menards and i saw these things that are like drawer organizers and they have these cute little spice jars and i noticed these cute little spice jars all fit perfectly inside these organizers. Now I made these labels and I'm not very happy with the end result. We don't have a laser printer. Um, so I'm going to figure out a way to redo these. I like the idea, but I need to have someone redo them on a laser printer for me. But other than that, it really works out great. I think this is one of the best things that we've done because these are our most used spices. Of course we use others and those are in a different place before the ones that we use almost every meal or every other meal. Those are all up here. And they're handy, and it's great to be able to just grab them and use them and stick them back up. Um, you need to make use of as much usable space as you have, and you can see how much we have here. These are our chip clips, which don't get used very often, but if we need them, they're right there. They don't take up drawer space if they're there. And we got these cool little measuring uh, spoons that have magnets on them. Our measuring cups are the same way, but they... Uh, they're a little bulkier, so we have those in a drawer. Um, up here, this is our daily dishes. We don't have a lot of plates. We have two big plates, two smaller plates, and then 
this we have a bunch of these that we have stored somewhere else for paper plates for when we and when the weather's nice we do have family over sometimes we all eat outside and we have these cool things to put your paper plates on um, these things here we got all our bowls and we made sure we got bowls that will all stack together and these things this is for when we travel um, we do travel every chance we get and when you travel you don't want your glassware to break so these things are too big. I want to search online to get some better ones because these are just huge. But they work. Um, it keeps your glassware from clanging up against each other and getting chips and breaks. But everything is in here that we use on a daily basis. We do have four coffee cups. Uh, we don't need four coffee cups, but we have four coffee cups. And we've got um, our mixing. There's some smaller mixing bowls in there and stuff. And that's basically the stuff that we use to eat with. Then... Uh, this is all part of our counter space here. Um, down here, this is something else I wanted to show you about tiny living. You have to be organized. And the thing that's kind of a pain is like if we want to get our pots and pans out, well, everything fits in here. So coffee maker's got to come out first. Then you can get your pots and pans and then you got to put this back in. So when you are living in a tiny trailer, that's just part of it is that to get something out, you're constantly getting something out putting something back in everything needs to be in its place because this place can get messy so fast and we will do a video um, to let you know what our home looks like just when we do one trip from the grocery store and we come home and just drop our gro it's like a bomb went off in here or when we come home from the laundromat and we're sorting laundry again there's like there's laundry everywhere it's it just happens that way and you have to be kind of tidy to try to keep your place um well, from looking like a pigsty, really. Um, let's see. Well, we've got our silverware drawers here. And this is everything that we cook with, all our utensils. When uh, we pared down, we really pared down. We have one pot that we cook in, one big cookware pot. And then we have a, it's not really an Instapot, but it's like an off-brand Instapot. And then we have the George Foreman, which we use frequently. Um, and those are pretty much our only cooking and utensils. Cook on the grill. We'll and we, we cook on the grill outside. We have one of those little, the little bubble grills, one of the little bitty ones. We cook on that outside a lot. Um, even when it's cold, we may not eat outside, but we, we cook some, cook, uh, you know, usually chicken or beef or steak or whatever out on the grill. Um, let's see. Oh, these are, this is where the cleaners live. And it's a lot more space than you would think. We have all kinds of cleaners and our paper towels and things under there. So yesterday I did uh, the grocery shopping and one of the things about living in a tiny camper, it's just like, like at home, food prep is a big deal. Um, so I did the grocery shopping. We haven't yet done the food prep. Um, so this is what our refrigerator looks like right now because we have a lot of stuff that needs to be chopped up and, and prepared for the week. This is what our tiny little freezer looks like. But it's more than enough for a week's worth of food for the two of us. Um, we'll move on into the bathroom. I'm going to let Matt go into the bathroom because we, we can't really both fit in there really. Uh, well, we could, but it would be uh, that would be a different kind of movie uh, if we were both in here. Um, basically, you have to ha come up with storage solutions. So again, Menards, this is where I have... Um, uh, fingernail polish and clippers and things that I need for my beauty stuff and then up there's you know this really cleaned up the cabinet a lot finding that and then uh, uh, let's see this is our uh, coat closet at the moment because it is winter time um, I'm not a fan of this thing here and I saw on another, this rack up here, I saw on another um, YouTube video, actually a hack for this where you can actually get like a, a, a towel bar, one of those shower suspension bars here and hook it into these with S hooks and then you're going to have more room where you can actually slide your hangers back and forth and I think that's a great hack and we're going to do that in the future. Um, but for now, this is our coat closet. Down here we just keep a the items that we need for maintaining the the toilet when we do our dumps and things and uh, to extra toilet paper and stuff and then 
One of the things we had to do is we do use our shower, unfortunately, especially in the winter, for storage. Um, this is the way we have to dry our towels. We don't have a towel rack in here, and it's hard to mount something on the wall. I didn't want to mount a towel rack on this wall because that's where you obviously sit to use the toilet. And I didn't feel comfortable with using those uh, command strips for that thing. So this is one of the drawbacks that we wanted to show you. Um, we mostly shower at the gym anyway on a daily basis. We mostly shower. I will go work out in the morning and then shower at the gym, or at least I do. Um, <laughs> and uh, so usually this 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 issue isn't a problem. It it's like this more in the winter than it is in the summer. We also put our gym bags in there. And the reason why is because when it's freezing at night, you don't want your shampoos and your soaps and your hairspray or whatever's in your gym bag to freeze overnight. So we do throw our stuff in there. And then the, there's a box in there that we've got, like it's got extra hairspray and stuff. I can't really store that outside in the car because it's, it's going to be frozen solid this time of year. Um, but that... It problem takes care of itself when the weather is warmer. Now, one thing that you may notice in our tiny home that is missing is a television set. Now, we had a television set. We do not watch a lot of TV. <gasps> I know, right? Um, that doesn't mean we don't watch screens. Um, I'm real big on YouTube research, so I'm constantly watching YouTube videos um, and there are a few shows that we follow, but we watch them on our phones. Um, Matt has his shows. I have my shows. Um, and so we just watch them on our phones, usually at work when we're on break. And so we needed more storage space. So this is the solution that we came up with. This uh, bookshelf is actually designed for shoes to go into a, a, a closet. And um, we found it at Target. And we brought it in, we took the TV down, we have the TV in storage. Um, and this is kind of like our all-in-one uh, charging station. Um, we've got, you know, the earbuds are plugged in here, my watch, cell phones, um, and then we've got two laptops that can charge here. And then I've got my little things for, for my jewelry. And one thing I would like to point out, if there's anything that the you guys know of that would make our lives easier um, as you watch this video please let us know um, and also one more thing I want to point out is that we know that we're not super organized um, we've been living in the RV now this will be our second winter um, but officially we moved in in uh, July we got rid of the apartment and got rid of all of our stuff and then moved in so I know that we when the weather is warm enough, we are going to completely spring clean. Everything in here is going out, and we're going to go through everything, and we're going to purge. We didn't really do that when we moved out of the apartment. At the end, we got rid of most of it, but I know that we brought a lot of stuff over that we really don't need, and we need to do that again and, and clear out. So if there's anything that you know that's going to make our life more organized, please let us know because I'm, I'm always up for organizing, and everything needs to have its place. So... Um, this is where everything happens right here. This is where we eat. This is where we do research. This is where we edit videos. Uh, this is where everything happens. I mean, this is where we relax. Um, and it's not very relaxing, uh, to sit here for a long period of time. This is basically a jackknife sofa. Um, when we eat dinner, if we have to eat inside, we have two small TV trays that are stored under our bed, and we take those out and eat on those. Um, our particular RV came with a big table that stayed back behind here, and it was a, I don't know, what, maybe four foot, five foot long table. It was really heavy and really clunky and really um, hard to get. Awkward. It, awkward. It's, it wasn't not like super heavy, but it's hard to get back here and pull that thing out and set it up every time. And it was just in the way. Right now we have stored, um, well, we have our broom back here. Um, and I think that's just about it is all we have stored back there because we want to keep the air circulating since it's this time of year, you can have a problem with condensation. Um, so this is where we eat. 
and do everything else during the day when we're not in bed. Uh, moving right along, and I don't know if we, you guys are going to have enough time to get through this tour. Um, okay, so one of the things that we needed to do for extra storage, um, we have our great walk around bed, and I discovered that we had just enough room to put, I don't know that I can move that, to put these ottomans, these ottomans fit perfectly on the side of our bed. So we have additional storage for things that we don't necessarily get out a lot, but we still need them in the RV. So we have three cubes here, and then we have two, or is it two or one? One on this side of, of the bed, and then this is where we keep our laundry basket. And so you're probably wondering, where are your clothes? Well, in, you know, in a sticks and bricks house, you have the option of, well, you have a dresser and you have a closet. And what well, we showed you our closet, our closet right now is just full of coats. This is where our laundry, our clean clothes live. So we each have a big, a big tub underneath here and we have a smaller tub on the top. And then we have some other things that we had to store on the side. Um, the big tubs are basically our work clothes for the week and the little tubs are the smaller things, your underwear, your socks, undershirts, that kind of thing. And then the stuff that we have laying out is stuff that we need to get to kind of quick. Like my gym clothes are right here for tomorrow morning and you know, like Matt's hoodie, um, our hiking boots, if we want to get out and run around outside and it's kind of muddy right now. So we have those there. Um, something else we did for storage solutions is we had shoes all over the place. We were tripping on them all the time. So, um, I thought of getting, this is a shoe organizer that actually hangs up on a door. We got it from Walmart and we basically just cut it apart and I, we'd already put this backing. This was like a kick plate that we had added because we noticed the wood was getting scuffed. We did that way before I think we even moved in full time. It was when we were just weekend warriors. And um, after we cut this up, we stapled this to the bed and now we have our shoe storage. So we have all the different shoes that we need. We probably should have put our flip-flops away. We've had our flip-flops in there all winter and that would have opened up a, another spot for us. But um, up here is where we keep our appliances, our kitchen appliances. We have some extra blankets up there. We have our extra kitchen towels. Um, and this right here is something I wanted to show you. Yeah, that's something you'd have to get used to, is if you want to get into anything over here, you got to get on the bed. So, this, oh, and everything's a mess. This is our, uh, our Tupperware and our, um, you know, Ziploc bags, aluminum foil, all that stuff. This closet is really deep. Let me grab a light so you can see in there a little bit better. Sorry. Okay. This closet is really deep. I'm going to show you how far back it goes. It actually goes back this far. It's really, really deep. So that's cool, right? Lots of storage. The problem is nobody has arms that are that long. Yeah, I'll have you. The no sun, one. Sun's blocking, so it's hard to see in there. No one has. Can you see them? Yeah, there we go. No one has arms that are that long to get all the way back there. Now, please keep in mind that just like we are not a. Uh, camera experts. Um, we're also not carpenters, but Matt came up with this great plan that works for us. And that's all we needed. But you know, you've heard of Reva shelf. Well, we had one of those in the apartment and it was awesome. And I wanted something like that. So Matt came up with this makeshift Reva shelf where basically we can pull this out and access everything that we need this is all our Tupperware here. So he basically just made with simple wood pieces. Um, he built, built us basically a Reva shelf. So anything that we put on here, we could slide it out and we can access the stuff that's way in the back. And it really made it a lot more useful space for us. Um, but I think that we definitely do have too much Tupperware and that's something that we're going to have to revisit, but we really loved our Tupperware and I just wasn't going to get rid of it. Um, 
we do cheat a little bit. Um, let me just say, we kind of have to. We live full time in a four season climate in our RV. That means we have to have clothes for all four seasons, but uh, specifically, we could get rough winters. So we have a lot of heavy clothing, like uh, lots of hoodies and things like that. So we did purchase a six by ten, ten storage utility trailer or utility trailer, just one of those little bitty utility trailers that you can pull with a car. And it is currently on our site behind our RV. Um, we rotate things out like in the winter we're gonna I mean in the summer we're gonna take our foam flooring back out because we really don't need that extra insulation in the summer um, all that's gonna be stored we're gonna take our little I don't know where it went our space heater and go put that back in there and then bring the fan back out because we like to have air circulating and we don't have any ceiling fans um, that like we like to have the air like blowing on us and the uh, the fans don't really do that because of the way the bed is situated um, so we have a fan that we use when it's warmer um, and truth to be told eventually we'll we'll probably have to get rid of all that stuff but when you have such a small um, a small living space you I mean I suppose we could have done it but um, we, we had the extra money, so we went ahead and bought the storage trailer. And I do think that because we have the storage trailer, we probably do still have more stuff than we need. And like I said, when it, this is going to be our first or second, well, technically our first official full-time living without an apartment. Um, this spring, we're going to go through everything and we're going to purge again. And I don't think we'll get rid of the storage trailer at any point soon, but I think we'll get a lot more stuff out of here that we don't need into the storage trailer since we have it. Um, so that's about it. Um, I can't think of anything else, but I wanted to let you know, um, if this is something that you're thinking about doing, you can do it. We made it happen. We lived in a 1200 square foot, two bedroom, two bath apartment. Um, and we had an additional, we had a one car garage too. So we had a, a lot of stuff that we had to get rid of and I think that by some people's standards 1200 square feet is probably not a very big it's already tiny it's, living. it's already tiny living <laughs> for some people so when you go from but when you go from that to this I mean you know I can't I guess I could lay down this way if I laid down <laughs> in front of the door but um, when this this and this is with our slide out when our slide is in it pulls in all the way up to about here and but what's great about this uh, trailer is that when you have it pulled in you can still sleep in the bed and you still have a straight shot this is all clear you can still access the refrigerator and the stove and the sink um, and the restroom um, even when this slide is pulled in so it makes it great for if we need to stop overnight and we're just gonna stay in uh, we're just gonna boondock somewhere we're just gonna stay maybe overnight on a, in a rest stop or a truck stop or maybe a Walmart parking lot if they allow overnight parking um, we just stay hooked up get in bed sleep for a few hours we can make our meal and we can go to the restroom all this is still at, open to us we're like, like in a lot of the big 40 foot um, uh, what are those called fifth wheels um, a lot of them, when the slides are in, you can't, may, you may not be able to access your kitchen or the restroom or even your bedroom. And so if you need to stop overnight, you're going to have to pull your slide out. So that I think makes it um, convenient for us. Um, so something else to think about if you're um, looking for a small travel trailer is if it has a slide, how much room is it going to take up when the slide is in? Um, because with a small travel trailer, it really makes a lot of sense to... Um, you know, just boondock overnight if you're just on the way somewhere on for a long drive. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, please uh, feel free to leave any comments or ask us any questions. If you have any storage solutions, we would love to hear about them. Um, and uh, check back with us next Sunday for a new video. Please remember to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like our video. Tell your friends about us, share, um, and thanks for watching. Bye.